Hey guys, we had a yowies today. Mummy, boom! What's going on with your sonny as well? What do you mean? Well, you look like a bounty hunter from the future. Your name could be Phoenix Fire Hunter. Froggy Fred! Friends, it is us again, me and him. We are looking for frogs, as that is the aim of this series. Today, we are looking for acidic frogs, acidic frogs. Heading up north to all the wall swamps and all those freshwater lakes that sit behind the, uh, the ocean here. So we're looking for four species in particular. Crinia tinia, the wallum froglet, Latoria longbarensis, wallum sets frog, Bolonga bongadunga, the wallum... Rock rock rock. Rock, which is Latoria Freysonetti. Freysonetti. The one we're looking for today is our main target is Latoria pulalensis, the Lula sets frog, which is quite endemic just to these regions. They're also critically endangered? No, just endangered. Okay. Oh, just endangered. Boring. <laughs> so hopefully we can get all three of those, all four of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Go pick up this book. This is the book we're following. Getting all 61 species. There's a couple others, but you know, a couple don't, of them not count those. And also, do, go download the Frog ID app which we also use. As always, the links are in the description of the videos. So, so these are uh, these four frogs we're looking for. They are the wallum frogs or, or acidic frogs. They've evolved to adapt to the, the waters around these places which have very high acidity. What pH? pH of three to six. No, I'm getting that wrong. <laughs> Daniel's trying really hard to do some research, so I know stuff about this acidity. I briefly knew something about it, but I don't think it matters. You know where we're going, bro? We're going to... Barney Dune. <laughs> we're going to Barney Dune. No, fuck off. Bolonga Bonga Dune. Bolonga Bonga So this area is pretty cool um, because it's rainforest, but it's all growing out of the sand. So it's this really interesting sort of habitat. So all the sand's sort of covered on leaf litter. Don't want to get bitten by a death adder. <laughs> Bye -bye. Woo! Pretty, pretty keen. I don't know what I want more. I don't know if I want to find the frogs or swim in the lake more. Because it's, it's pretty hot. It is very warm. Like. I was hoping we, could, we would see some birds, but I don't know. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I anticipated. Finished having a bit of a swim. I've walked around the lake a bit. John's all the way over fucking over here. He's just been filming fucking birds. That's what we're here for, lads. And uh, just at the edge of this thrush and having a look through. I can see a bunch of frogs just uh, hanging along the tops of these these reeds here. Went to film one. You just jumped away immediately. It's frustrating. So I found a little boy, he's just hanging out here, hiding on the other side of this reed. See as you pass around the other side of the sedge, keeps going around the other side. So 
So every time you go around, he's gonna go to the other side. Cool. He's proving to be a bit of a pain in the ass, eh? There's a storm incoming. You can hear the thunder in the distance. And there's uh, quite a few just hanging around in these streets. Not every day that you find your target species first and in the day. So I guess that's the end of the episode. No, <laughs> that's. I was hoping to set up a time lapse so we could watch the clouds roll in, but there's a lightning storm coming towards us in the distance, and uh, I really don't want to get struck by lightning, so we're gonna head out. There's a thunderstorm coming. Kind of taking refuge under a bit, bit of foliage. Don't really want to get caught in any lightning. We get the rest of the frogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, oh man, the storm arrived. <laughs> All right, I think we need to get out. So we're probably going to head back. It's not. I think it's much bigger than we thought it was going to be. Uh, let's uh -huh. get out of here. We managed to find shelter under this tree in this hollow. <laughs> I know. I know what you're thinking. Not the best place during a lightning storm. Um, but as we're sitting here, a Latoria cuensis. The cool little sedge frog popped straight onto my foot. And it's just down there now. So yeah, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know that they say that you're better off like cuddling naked to stay alive. No thanks. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. We made some poor, cho poor choices. <laughs> One species isn't a great episode. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll get back onto the main road and we'll, we'll let you know then. Hopefully we'll find our remaining targets, or at least two of them. I'm not sure if we'll find Olongrensis, or however you say it. Olongrensis. We are trying to recover this shit mess that happened yesterday. We basically got stormed out, got pushed out by the storm. This went up there. So we're uh, trying to salvage this by checking out a bit of a swamp. <laughs> How's that working for you? Uh, I think he jumped out here. Yeah, I can't see him anyway. Alright, here's... Got him. So after about like half an hour of looking around through this swamp, managed to spook this guy out of the grass. Crinia tinula. It's actually quite an interesting looking little frog. He's little orange legs. Little orange legs. And right as we're leaving, the rain starts yet again. Hopefully don't have a repeat of yesterday. Nice. Wait, what's that? Can you hear that? It's that in the no one. Clear the call. How are we gonna get through here? Alright gang. An unlikely twist as we were walking back. We think we heard the Wallum sedge frog along Berensis. That would be amazing if we were to find it. All these reeds are basically the exact same colour as them and they just sit right on the edge of them. They could be anywhere. <laughs> he saw one and it disappeared. He got away. 
great white buffalo. Holy shit, man. We've been fucking looking through all these bushes forever. I'm recording it now, because if I go over there, I'm gonna spook him. Let's see him. See him over there? That's him. The Olong Burrow Frog. This may be the only shot we gotta get him, uh, unless I get real close. Oops. There it is. Victoria Longensis. Longensis, right? Oh. <laughs> What's happened, John? Well, in a depressing twist of fate, after two hours of looking for this frog, Daniel found it. I got about like three seconds worth of video before my camera died, and then as I was leaving, it jumped away. But, you can still pick it off. Yep. <laughs>